In this video, I'll show you how to make the unusual bind off for the Rolling Waves Knit Cowl and perhaps for your next project. Let's begin. Welcome to Good Knit Kisses. We're all about helping you stitch your love and love your stitches. All right, so I'm gonna be taking my stitches and reducing them way down to do this sort of gathered bind off. I, I use that term, but it really, it's not a drawstring bind off or anything, but it is a gathered or sort of a pleated finish where it draws them way in. And then we're going to um, bind it off in an unconventional method where we're going to be going along the salvage edge of the opposite side. This is for the Rolling Waves Knit Cowl pattern. And if you click on the link in the description below, you'll be able to see how to get that. All right, so I'm gonna begin on my right side and I'm reducing the stitches and we're decreasing three down to one. And how you do that is a slip, knit two together and PSSO. So we're going to slip that first stitch purlwise and then knit these next two stitches together. And then we're going to pass this first stitch that we slipped back over the two that we knit together. And now we've got a decrease. Let's do that again. We're going to slip the stitch, knit two together, and pass that first slip stitch over, P-S-S-O. Okay, so we've taken six stitches and reduced it down to two stitches. We're just gonna continue across, repeating, and by the end of it, I should have my 33 stitches reduced by two thirds. It's going all the way down to 11 stitches. Okay, continue working on that repeat all the way down to the end. Pause your video, I'll meet you back up when you get there. All right, so I've completed it. We've got 11 stitches and you see how this is nice and squished up and it starts giving you that rolling effect there. All right, so you're just going to turn your work and you need to purl on this wrong side. So purl across those 11 stitches, pause your video, and we'll meet you back up. See you in a moment. All right, so I've completed my purl row and I am ready to begin. I'm on the right side again. Here's my working yarn. And I want you to see where we're going to start binding off. We're gonna grab the selvage edges along this side. So this is my cast on row and I'm going all the way here. This is on the opposite side as my beginning tail. And we're gonna be picking up the salvage edges along here. So what's gonna happen is these are going to get joined just like this, okay? Just like that. Uh, we're gonna begin by placing the first selvage stitch onto our needle. So I'm gonna go down and find where we've got the uh, this first chain look stitch here from the cast on and so the next stitch to the side is going to be the selvage edge so we're going to pick up that very first stitch and just place it right on our needle and now we're going to go through with our um, our opposite hand we're going to put in our second needle and we're going to knit these two stitches together just like that and now we're going to do the next one so we're going to stop and pick up the next stitch and you'll wanna carefully look at it, make sure you're not pulling that first stitch again. You're gonna to go to the very next one, place that on there, and then go through these two stitches and knit them together. All right, now that we have those two stitches on here, we're gonna bind off. So we're gonna take that first stitch up and over the next one, and now we bound off one. We wanna put on the next salvage edge. So we're gonna go through here, make sure you're not picking up uh, the stitch that you just did. So we're going to follow this one and we'll move over here. There we go. And knit these two stitches together and lift it up and over. So that is all you're doing. You're just going to continue working across and you can see that it's starting to join. It has that nice little uh, braided detail there. Okay, continue along picking up those stitches, and if you need to know where it came from, just pull back on your stitches and you can see this line. So that's that salvage stitch. And you wanna go down to the next one and work those together. So it might take a little bit of practice looking at it, but after a while you should be able to get that. All right, pause your video, I'll meet you back up for that last stitch. 
After you finish that last bind off, uh, go ahead and cut your yarn and pull it all the way through. And then you're gonna want to weave in your tails with the tapestry needle. And you can see how this connection is right here. See how that's got that nice little part. And then this is the part that's gonna rest on your shoulder. And then here is where it's going to go around your neck. This is the top part. And then the front, is going to lay this way or you can lay it in the back and it will just hang down that way so you can wear it in a, a couple of different ways i would suggest with this tail here that when you weave it in you could even um, pull together one more stitch from this side and this side and weave it from the reverse so let's turn it over and do that and then that way it gets nice and tied in Let's weave this tail together and you'll want to weave in the tails from where you've added your yarn and then the beginning one as well. So this is where that came out and I'm just going to put that through this last stitch here and pull through making it not there. And I'm just going to grab these two stitches here on this side. Here and here and over here and just knot that up and just want that nice and sturdy and then that's how it will look on the end there kind of gathered and then just go through and weave your tails in like you normally would around a garter stitch okay all right, well, I will um, meet you back up and show you what it looks like. Well, there we have our rolling waves cowl, and you can see how it just hangs nice and pretty down here in, in front of your uh, in front of your chest here and hangs off by the shoulder area, and this swoops around to the opposite side, and it's just got this gathered look up on the shoulder. I hope you enjoy making this cowl. If you haven't subscribed to Good Knit Kisses, I hope you do. Please hit the subscribe and hit the bell icon to get more videos like this. I hope you have a great day and happy knitting and crochet. Bye everyone.